Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Monsoon, Amihan, and Habagat. This will be the fourth quarter topic and learning competency number 12. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the impacts of the Amihan and Habagat on weather, climate, and seasonal patterns. The second one is to interpret weather maps, data to identify the location and movement of the Amihan and Habagat. And the third one is to appreciate the cultural and historical significance of the Amihan and Habagat in local communities by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will write the if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Monsoons are seasonal wind patterns that influence the global weather system. They are driven by temperature differences between the land and water, causing shifts in atmospheric pressure and precipitation. Monsoons play a crucial role in shaping regional climates. They bring heavy rains to certain areas influencing rainfall patterns, agricultural cycles, and overall ecosystems. The following is the Amihan, the northeast monsoon. So the first one is Amihan brings cooler, drier weather to the Philippines, particularly during winter months, which is the November to February. The second one is the influence by the Siberian high. So this monsoon is driven by high pressure system over Siberia that pushes air towards Pacific Ocean. And the third one is the effects on the weather. So Amihan brings clear skies, lower humidity, and often cooler temperature making it a popular time for outdoor activities. The following is all about Habagat, the southwest monsoon. So the first one is Habagat brings warm, humid weather to the Philippines, particularly during the summer months, which is the month of May to October. The second one is that this monsoon is driven by the low-pressure system over Australia that pulls air from the Pacific Ocean. And the third one is the effects on weather. So Habagat brings heavy rainfall, often causing floods and landslides. It also brings warm, muggy temperatures and high humidity. 
The following are the seasonal characteristics and patterns. The first one is the Amihan season and it happens between November to February. So cooler and drier weather, clear skies, lower humidity, cooler temperatures and ideal for outdoor activities. The second one is the transition periods. It happens between March to May. So it has unstable weather condition. Okay occasionally thunderstorms, shifting wind patterns, fluctuating temperatures. And for the Habagat season, it happened during June to October. So warm, humid weather, heavy rainfall, floods, landslide, warm, muggy temperature, and has high humidity. The following is the impact of monsoon on agriculture and economy. So in agricultural production, monsoons are crucial for agricultural production. Amihan brings dry conditions, ideal for planting certain crops, while habagat brings heavy rains, essential for irrigation and rice cultivation. And for the tourism industry, the weather patterns associated with monsoons influence tourism activities. Amihan brings clear skies making it ideal for outdoor activities while Habagat can disrupt travel plans due to heavy rainfall. For the fisheries and coastal community sector, monsoons play a vital role in marine ecosystem. It influencing fish migration patterns and the availability of fishing ground. So habagat can also bring stronger waves and higher tide, impacting the coastal communities. The following are the adaptation strategies for coastal communities. So the first one is elevated homes. So coastal communities often build houses or stills to mitigate the rest of flooding during the habagat seasons. The second one is mangrove planting. So mangrove forests act as a natural barriers against the storm surges and erosion protecting the coastal areas during the heavy rains. And the third one is early warning system. So advanced warning system provide timely information about potential typhoons and storm surges allowing residents to take necessary precautions. The following are the monsoons and climate change. So the first one is increased rainfall intensity. So climate change is predicted to increase rainfall intensity during habagat season leading to more frequent and severe flooding. The second one is the sea level rise. So rising sea levels exacerbate the impact of storm surges, making coastal communities more vulnerable to flooding. And the third one is shifting rainfall patterns. So climate change could alter monsoon patterns, leading to unpredictable rainfall distribution and potentially impacting the agricultural production. The following are the conclusion and key takeaways. So the first one is the impact on life. So monsoons plays a significant role in the Philippines' climate, agriculture, and economy, impacting the lives of millions. The second one is the monsoon season. So the Philippines experiences two distinct monsoon seasons, the Amihan and the Habagat. And the third one is adapting to change. So coastal communities must adapt to the changing climate, implementing strategies to mitigate the rest of flooding and storm surges. For the work example, ask the learners to read and analyze the statements and instruct them to identify whether the statement describes the mihan or the habagat. And for the lesson activity, the students will answer the activity number 3 which is all about the habagat and amihan and they are going to identify and describe the effects of different monsoons in the Philippines.